by the end of this video you will learn how to solve limit functions from a graph let's consider this question we are going to approach this graph from the left which is minus and also we are going to approach this graph from the right which is plus let's approach this graph from the left hence we are going to consider this and for now we are going to ignore this the limit of h of x as x tends to minus 3 is we are going to trace this from minus 3 up towards this and here we got a hole next trace the hole to the y axis and the approach from the left is 6 this hole symbolizes that when we input a particular value for x which is here minus 3 the direct substitution gave us 0 over 0 but after applying the Hopita rule we obtained 6 that's why there is a hole here next let's approach this graph from the right this time we are going to consider this line and ignore this the limit of h of x as x tends to minus 3 is we're going to trace minus 3 to this point which came from this line from the right tracing this point towards the y axis our answer from the right is 2. this shaded point means that the plug in of x minus 3 gave us 2 with direct substitution which is plug-in the approach from the left exists and the approach from the right exists and since their answers are not the same we conclude that h of x do not exist but the left hand side exists and the right hand side exists but they are not equal it is called jump discontinuity in conclusion h of x does not exist next let's consider this question to solve this problem both of these holes align with six hence this limit is tending towards six this is the first step to remember next we have h of x hence this will be h of x and this will equally be h of x next we are going to approach this graph from the left and equally approach this graph from the right and we're approaching the function h of x next let's approach this graph from the left hence we are going to consider only this line and ignore this and the limit as x tends to 6 aligns with minus 7 on the y axis hence from the left hand side the limit of h of x as x tends to 6 is equal to minus 7 next let's approach this function from the right hence we consider this and ignore this for now the limit of h of x as x tends to 6 from the right hand side is minus 5 hence we got minus 5 the approach of this function from the left and the approach of this function from the right both are not equal though both exist this also is jump discontinuity and we are going to conclude that h of x does not exist next let's consider this question this function contains line of asymptote and this function is on the line of asymptote on 4 that is passing through 4 vertically hence this limit 
tends to fall and the given function is h of x next we are going to approach this function from the left likewise we are going to approach this function from the right let's consider from the left hence we are going to ignore this from the left the limit of h of x as s tends to 4 is 3 from the left hand side next let's consider the approach from the right hence we consider this and ignore this from the right you can see that this graph tends to infinity hence from the right hand side does not exist whenever one side of the limit exists and the other side of the limit does not exist this is known as essential discontinuity and because one side exists and the other side does not exist that means both must be equal if this function must exist and we conclude that h of x does not exist next you can pause the video and try this out if you have solved this correctly you should get 6 from the left hand side and 4 from the right hand side next let's consider this question this function of f of x contains lines of asymptotes next let's approach this function f of s from the left and let's approach this function f of s from the right to approach this function from the left we are going to ignore this line however from the left this line is coming from infinity and equally going towards infinity hence we are going to ignore it as well and we are going to consider only this line because it contains a hole which aligns with 4 and this hole corresponds to 3 on the y axis hence the limit of f of x as x tends to 4 from the left hand side is equal to 3. Next, let's approach f of s from the right hand side. Hence, we are going to ignore this and consider only this. However, this line is coming from infinity and going towards infinity. Hence, the approach from the right does not exist. Hence, we conclude that the function f of s does not exist. Next, let's consider this question. The left hand limit is also known as from below, while the right hand limit is also known as from above. As we approach g of s from below, which is the left hand limit, we are going to approach 3. Hence, the limit as s tends to minus 1, g of s becomes 3, which is an approach from the left. Subsequently, as we approach this limit from the right, which is also called from above, we are going to approach this point where g of x from the right is also equal to 3. This one-sided limit gave us 3 from the left. Likewise, this right side limit, which is also a one-sided limit, gave us 3. We conclude that g of x exists because both arms are equal. Next, consider this question. The approach from the left is 1 
while the approach from the right is also one hence from below is one and from above is also one we conclude that f of x exists likewise we can write this statement to mean that f of zero is equal to two next let's consider this question from the left here we got four also from the right we got four hence this limit exists and this shaded portion simply means that f of one is equal to two and remember this is a whole and we have explained the differences between the both of them next let's consider the limit of each of these points on the graph let's consider this point this means the limit of g of s as x tends to minus 4 is 2 here we use g of x you can use h of x or f of s or any alphabet but it must be the small letter not the capital letter because capital letter like this can mean another thing which is for example here this is heavy side function these are the solutions to each of these points you can check out other videos in pre-calculus and to locate all the videos you can follow the link on the screen i will see you in the next video